Hello everyone. Today I'm going to discuss with you a little bit about how to use arithmetic and unary operators in the Java programming language. So we'll go ahead and get started here. Create a new Java project. We'll call it arithmetic unary. a new class here and call it the same thing arithmetic unary operators we will just make a little bit of extra room here okay we'll go ahead and make our main method Now, I'm going to show you a little bit about how you can manipulate variables using these operators. First example, I'll just use an integer here. Now, I've assigned the number 6 to the variable test. Now, I could easily add to this without any problems. All you have to do is do test equals test plus one and that would make it seven the reason this does that is because it's taking test setting it equal to test which is equal to six plus one so you get test which is now equal to seven and we'll go ahead and print that out just to show you There it is, 7. Prints out right here in the console. Now you can also do it this way. You can also add a variable to itself. And so now you have test, which is equal to 6, and another test, which is equal to 6. So basically you have 6 plus 6, which is uh, going to equal 12. So now the now variable test is going to be equal to 12. See? There you go. And um, you can also add like a variable to another variable. So now we'll add test plus test 2. 6 plus 9. So now test is going to be equal to 15. See? I'm printing this variable test. It's equal to 6 when we start out up here. But when we go down, um, we set test equal to 6 plus 9. And that's going to be the new value that test is assigned to. You can also do all of these same things with multiplication, division, and whatnot. Um, I'll show you here. Examples of using all of those arithmetic operators.
now we have different examples of um, using the different operators that you have available to you in Java. All right. So we'll go ahead and do that. Oh, I best I guess I better use different ones here. Okay. Just showing you an example. Test four minus test three is going to be eight minus four, so that's going to be four. So test three is basically just reassigning itself to four. And I'll get that out for you. You know, I might as well just do an example of all of them here. First you have test is equal to test plus test 2. 4 plus 8 is 12. So we're setting the variable test equal to 12. And we print that out here. And so we get 12 there. The second one, we're doing test 4 minus test 3 and setting test 3 equal to that. So we have 8 minus 4 is equal to 4. So test 3 prints out 4 right here. As you can see, this is the line that prints it out. And then we have test 5 times test 6. 8 times 4 is going to be 32. And we're setting fi test 5 equal to that. So test 5 is equal to 32, which prints out right here, which is printed out on this line. And for the last one, we have 8 divided by 4, basically. Test 8 is equal to 8, and test 7 is equal to 4. And so 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. Test 7 is set equal to that, and printed out on this line. And uh, that's kind of how those work there. Um, go ahead and delete this and show you the next thing. All right, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to 